The din of the mist grows greater. The sun crisp must be near. I wonder if she'll really do it. Take revenge against the Empire. I mean, I know how she must feel. It's hard, losing someone you care about. Something we all got in common. But you know, no matter how hard we try, we can't change the past. There's nothing that can bring them back. Still, sometimes when I close my eyes, I can see them so clearly. The illusions of the past. You think to have cast them off, only to find them years later, unwearying, unrelenting. The past can bind a man as surely as irons. Cut the true path. But will she? So this is the Sun Christ. King Wraithwall stood here. With this sword, he cut the Sun Christ and took its power in his hand. But you're going to use the sword to destroy the Sun Christ. Aren't you, Ash? <sighs> Don't interrupt me, Vaughn. Revenge. You would have me use the stone? You would have me destroy the Empire? Is this my duty? Is this what you want? I cannot. Why do you hesitate? Take what is yours. The Christ is a blade. It was meant for you. Wield it. Avenge your father. Yes, it was I who wore Bashi's face, who cut down the life of Delmasca. Lady Ash, your father's murderer is here. You and Rex! I slew your king. I slew your country. Do these deeds not demand vengeance? <laughs> yes, good. Find your wrath. Take up your sword, fight, and serve those who die before you! A Judge Magister there was. 
Two years passed. He took in his hand the Midlight Shard, stolen from Nabradia, and used it not knowing what he did. And Nabudis was blown away. Sid ordered this of him, to learn the Nethersite's true power. That man swore never to let such terrible power be used again. He forsook his Judas's plate and his name. Judge Zekt. It's been too long, Gabranth. Reach out your hand, Lady Ash. But remember, that which you must grasp is something beyond revenge, something greater than despair. Something beyond our reach. Try as we might, Gabranth. History's chains bind us too tightly. No, we cannot escape the past. This man is living proof. What is your past, daughter of Damaska? Did you not swear revenge? Do the dead not demand it? I know this. You are not the kind to take base revenge! The wrestler I knew is gone. You are our saint, Tashelia Banagan. You must use the Nethersite. You must be the one to straighten history's weave. I am no false saint for you to use. Ash. In all Dalmasca's long history, not once did we rely on the Dusk Shard. Our people resolved never to use it, though their need might be dire. That was the Dalmasca I wanted back. To use the stone now would be to betray that. I will destroy the sun, Christ. I will discard the stone. You claim no need of power? What of your broken kingdom's shame? The dead demand justice! You're wrong. Huh? What would change? I can't help my brother now. My brother's gone. He's dead. Even with power, we cannot change what is past. What is done, is done. Yet without power, what future can you claim? What good a kingdom you cannot defend? Then I will defend queen and kingdom both. <sighs> ha! Defend! You! You who failed Landis and Almaska! What can shame hope to keep safe? Your shield is shattered! Your oaths poison those you would protect! Think killing the Kingslayer will win you back your honor. When you abandoned home and kin, your name was forever stained with blood. Aye. This stain is mine to bear, but I will bear it willingly, knowing that I did all that I could for hope. Breen and strut as you like. In the end, we are the same. Bloodthirsting carrion birds. Hellbent on revenge.
so you, too, would leave your debts unpaid. Enough of this! I can bear no more. You disappoint me, Gabranth. What? He trusted you. When you bared steel against the princess, you forswore your obligations to your emperor. You shame yourself and make mockery of Lord Lars's trust. You are unfit to serve him a sword or shield, and so I release you from that service. Your presence is neither required nor welcome. Gabranth! <laughs> You are only a tool of this Venar. How quaint. We are allies. The Acuria give men power as a master feeds his dog. It is meant to tame us. How well you've resisted their wile. By turning your back on their stones, you give us free hand to write our own history. And at what price? Damascus freedom for your nethesite? I shall not suffer you to have it. The sun crisp be damned. Oh, <laughs> be sure that it is. For what other purpose do you think you've brought us here? But, my lady, I would have you stay your Acurian sword. The sun crisp is glutted with mist, and so precious a thing must not be squandered. Let us use the stone! Finish this for now! Cocoon of the sun crest! Spill forth your mist upon this evil east! Let the sky be awash in it that Bahamut may come and drink his fill! <laughs> and lo! How brightly burned their lanthorn! Casts it back the shadow of a Curian design. Testament that man's history shall be his alone. You made your nether site for this. You mimic the Acuria stone for what? To become a god yourself? On whose shoulders better to stand than those of the would-be gods? Ah, such high hopes I once had, but you ran and ran and play with you. Alas, the hour of your return is late. Come, Thamron! Revel in the glory of my triumph! <laughs> no pity for me! Now the fight! Behold the manufactured nethersite, the fruit of our power and knowledge. See what the stone of man is capable of. Witness its power with your own eyes. Fan it to me!
Let him buy Fena. It is done. Ah, how I have enjoyed these six years. The pleasure was all mine. Was there no other way? Huh. Spend your pity elsewhere. If you are so set on running, hadn't you best be off, fool of a pirate? Yes. 